Welcome everybody to the start of episode 18 of this Let's Play series. This is the episode where we are ready to start going into this Space Warp Collider Complex of Silver Landmark, so it should be fairly difficult. And I have a... This army feels strong, but really these are all Tier 2s with a... It's an okay amount of power. I, I don't expect this to be easy. I might have to wait until next turn, it looks like, to, uh, to get all my tactical points back because I want to be able to have those sort of combat spells. We'll just take a look inside. It's not claimed by you. It's not yours. So, okay, so my power is higher, but they will have phase guardians. Every two turns, they'll create an unstable echo of a random unit that do less damage but are indistinguishable from the original. That may be able to happen to my units as well, so this could be a little swingy depending on which one of us gets the copy. If it's mine, I'm going to throw them in to get in the way, and if it's theirs, I'm going to ignore them because they're not as strong as the original units. These guys cause a dimensional rift, basically, that teleports units around. These are assembly units. This one makes a duplicate of itself, and this one, I'm not 100% sure what it does. Phase shift, abduct, phase shift, evacuate. We'll check it out when we get in. So we will have to wait uh, one turn so that we can get our tactical points back. And you are healing up until so you can take out those marauders. And I just want to squeeze this scout up here. Just kind of see what's going on. Get as much information as possible. And you're going up around this way. The moat district. It's not a moat, that's an ocean. Okay. First galleon is complete. Let's see what they do. Um, we've got Volt, Bow, Crash. 25 damage, massive impact, stagger with the ship's bow. Oh, bow. Volt, bow, crash. Uh, it's it's a melee attack. So it bypasses, but there's tons of damage. Storm breath, a three hex cone. So it's got kind of a, yeah, like an electricity, like arc cone in front of it gives turbulence okay and that does extra damage to flying targets with this cone so this cone hits everything okay interesting maybe this oh no hitting both water and air units okay so this is a cool abilities cool ability but very basic unit other than that 50 health two armor two shield 40 movements pretty good and resistance to stagger arc weakness Arc weakness, that makes sense. Large target, that's pretty standard. Okay, so these are serviceable water vessels, which I will make a handful of and we can start. What's going on here? So what do we have here? It's a pretty good militia, so they can't handle that right now, which is good. Just wait there with the garrison naval militia. We'll end turn. Oh, they're meeting up. Okay, this will be a little bit tougher. Hopefully we can... Pump out some more galleons real quick. What am I building? Is there any galleon? I can't tell. Okay, that's um I won't be able to defeat that army with this militia, most likely. But at least I know that my city is safe, uh, as it now has a six stack on it, along with turrets and militia. Pretty strong, yeah. So this should be this should be fine. This should be fine to defend. Make more galleons. This might get cancelled. Two galleons. Two galleons plus two militia galleons. So four galleons, a watcher, and a paladin champion. So that's only six total units, and they have eleven. One sea creature. So these ones will be weaker because they're land. All these will be weaker because they're actually land creatures. So might have a chance. Might have a chance. They'll all have weakness to all the damage types because they're not amphibious. They're not naval vessels. I don't know what you were doing. Oh, you were just going here. Okay, fine. Happiness, Happiness event, event in energy. colony. 50 energy is good. Let's put you into energy. So really, you're just making energy after you finish this throne. Okay, so let's let's take on this site. 
and we'll try out our new units. Yeah, you don't own this site. I'm sorry. You can't claim this site. It's next to me. I claim this site. She snuck in there. Okay, this should be interesting. I've fought on this particular map before. I think these blow up. Yep. Kinetic damage. Is this over here? Is that part of the train? Yep. Okay. These guys blow up? Does everything blow up? No. This probably blows up. Yeah, 15 damage and a 2 hex radius when it blows up. That's cool. Okay. So, we have our radiators who want to be in close. We have our hero with this long range staff attack. Actually, I can hit from here, but not from here? This is blocking, I guess. This is a full action attack to use this. I think we should do it, though. Oh, nice. Okay, well, if I can hit him from here, then it's their, their battle to... to like, they, they have to come to me now. So we might even do, like... Do a, do a couple little clumps like this. Put everybody in defense mode, shields, the, the morale, and then they have to come in because they know I can hit them. So they'll have to, they'll be at a disadvantage. So they're getting close. Fine, we can get that pretty easily. Okay, so that one's charged up for 50% damage for, for basically this turn and next, but this turn it took its whole action. Okay, they got a longer range than I thought. Let's also have a range nine. Operations ready. I right, still have some precog on some of these units, so is this one electrified? Yeah, that's not good. It'll take a lot of damage from that debuff. So what do you want to do here? You've got a pistol. It's the only thing you can really do. If you sit back here behind this cover. Take a little shot. That was pretty good damage for a single pistol shot. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. Enemy here. destroyed. Alright, I think we go in. We go in with our radiators. And if they dare hit me, they take damage back. We've got our first upgraded warden available for shooting. Pretty good damage. These aren't the ones I need to take out, though. This one have a... Oh, yeah, this one has a... Uh, action attack. Maybe I need to try to stagger it. Stagger resistance is resistant. And this has a massive impact stagger. So this can stagger it. Just get a little bit closer. That blocks this guy from moving, so we'll go over here. There we go. 90% chance. Quite accurate. There we go. That stagger is good. That'll block that unit from using its dimensional rift ability, which is a pain in the butt. Can't get close enough to the defense here to buff everybody up. I want you shooting, but you have to put yourself into kind of position of danger to do it. Um, but I think this is pretty strong. It's too bad it's arc damage. I think we're going to do it anyway. I think this unit is quite strong. That was big. That was big. Okay. And we have operations. Do I need to use any operations? I could do the condemned thing. 10 damage and a stack of entropic decay. And that's a that's a dot. 
but it doesn't really help me other than doing just a little bit of damage. Maybe status effects are better here. Maybe a healing banner is good here. Hmm, free movement. All friendly units gain plus six status effect resistance for two turns. Let's do that one. That's probably a good idea. I don't need people getting electrified and all these other things they can do. Mainly electrified since there's so many machines. Uh-oh, making copies of stuff. It's kind of a bad one because it's got a big AOE. Tried to abduct me. Don't stagger my hero. I want to use that cool ability. Cool, uh... Damage, that's awesome for a graze. That's really cool. Dimensionally desynced? What's happening? Okay, so you can only shoot your pistol, so maybe we take this shot here. Enemy destroyed. And we could run this guy up on the high ground. No, he can't hit anybody from up there. So maybe we... Hold off on using that one. This guy... Oh, he can't use any abilities. He needed damage but cannot use abilities. Oh. Well, okay. I don't really know what to do about that. It means I'm kind of stuck. I think I can run through terrain with these guys. I guess we'll have to do that. Crash. Okay, slap that thing down. Enemy down. Okay, good, good. And this one can move, but can't do anything else. Now, uh, melee overwatch is happening here, so we probably want to hit this guy, take out his melee overwatch. We really want him hitting this guy. How long does this last? Two turns? But this guy could move once here and then attack three times, so we'll go ahead and stagger him. And with that in mind, we might, we might go over here. What's the range on this? Two hex radius. Wish I could get... Close enough to use this on. Well, actually, yeah, I can. If he's here, I can shoot this guy. Enemy here. eliminated. Perfect. And then you can actually go here and use your uh, healing thing. So let's turn you around, and then we'll use this and hit these three. Yeah. And then we'll put you here, just to get in the way, I guess, and also make the AoE harder to use on these for these guys. So let's go here. You're immune to damage anyway. And I think we're okay to end turn in the, in the operation. Oh, they're really worried about that hero. Not wanting using that ability. Come on, don't get staggered. That one's doing 50% extra damage next turn, which means it'll do 75% damage of a regular version of that unit since it's a duplicate. Okay, so is this guy able to use stuff now? Nope, still desynced. Really unfortunate. So we'll, we'll run him around here. He'll just, he'll just stop. And we want to get somebody... We want these great bows. The warden's shooting their uh, great bows at this. Why it was hard to hit? Evasive maneuvers. Flying. Doesn't have long range, so I can't get any better by getting closer. Only 60% chance. Oh, goodness. At least I can use this. 
yeah, we really have to focus on this one because I have plenty of uh, oh, insanity, plenty of crown troops. Broken mind and insanity. This one has insanity. Unit attacks units at random. I think I still want to take it out though. I don't really want it attacking anything to be honest. Did that chance get worse? Oh yeah, they have this ability that gives them extra accuracy. Look at that. That's, that's what that mod did. So now, yeah, 90%. Oh, and a crit. Perfect. Enemy destroyed. All right, cool. Very cool. You run up here. Slap this guy. It's not getting staggered. So I think. That means we want to go here and finish this one off, and then now this guy will be vulnerable to Enemy melee down. overwatch by this one. This is the last one, but it's just a duplicate, so it doesn't really do much. Damn it. Probably use its big AoE. I'm shooting the, the one that has precognition on it still. It's bold strategy. Uh-oh. Wow, it's great, only did 10 damage. That's not too bad. Okay, so we want to increase this one's damage. And then we'll use your ability to get accuracy. And you will run you over here. see the radiating going off here. To take eight damage and to get atrophy. So this guy probably got it. We got three stacks of atrophy, so that's why he crit, but he had 45% less damage because he was triple atrophied. That's cool, so he must have taken kind of a lot of damage. Advanced Vorpal Sniper gains Atrophy, it takes 6 damage. She only took one of them. Was it because this one still couldn't do anything? I don't know. But, oh well. End of fight. The predicted outcome. Okay, this, this army is working pretty well. That was really fun. We got a Rift Generator unit. A Void Seeker. Ooh. That's a big sniper rifle. Shots travel through the void, shifting and changing direction, causing all attacks from this weapon to flank the target. Always count as flanking. I guess it's a lot of energy, but I like... I kind of like these. I think I'll just take them. And you can go wait on the capital for orders, and then this army, having proven themselves, will head out to the metro zone to do whatever's in here. Promethean Vault. So, wait, is that... Hmm, that's the thing that happened... Okay. Earlier in the game, there was a Promethean Vaults were spawning around the map, right? And I never found any, but wasn't this site always here? So does, does that mean that it changed who was inside of it? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, so you're going to head over here. Maybe there's it in here. Promethean Vault. This landmark is an advanced production sector and gives the following when annexed. So, Promethean Vaults up here. So maybe this wasn't here. Maybe this landmark was not here earlier in the game. That kind of tracks. I mean, there is a silver... There's generally not a silver location that close to your capital. So maybe, maybe this wasn't here. I wish I could remember. I'll have to go back and watch one of my earlier videos and see what I could see. Oh. Uh -huh. Waters. Okay, well, we gotta wait for them to attack me or move away because I don't want to attack both of these. Orders required for my faction leader and her army. Oh, yes, now that I have shown that that works well, we're going to give her the old arc retaliation defense and. 
and entropic radiation emitter and she's just going to turn into a radiator but with more so we'll do that we'll confirm that so she's still stagger resistance she's still oh she lost fast movement so i'll have to give her oh fast movement yeah i know i was saving up for piloting advanced but that's kind of important to have that so now she should be actually a lot more powerful than she was before she causes a lot of status effects so that's pretty cool oh yeah and we want to give her a volt pistol instead because if she gets knocked out of this vehicle and all she has is a grenade she's gonna be in trouble you're doing a sight so you can run over here and go clear out some stuff down here we have a scout that i'm getting as much information as possible about the shape of the world here this is my enemy these guys and these guys are falling out but they also don't like me. Nobody really likes me. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. Can't get in there, but we can see what's going on. Okay, Horatio's Refuge. You don't really have a job right now, do you? I guess making energy is probably a good idea for a little while because soon the city will be ready to just make units and it'll need money. You need a lot of money for that. Cosmite's getting a little lower now that I've started spending big, big Cosmite on some of these units, but that's okay. Again, I still, you know, if I run out of Cosmite, I just make versions without any. I gotta make sure I save enough for this last colonizer, 50. And that colonizer will go right here. And as soon as I take this and give it to Archon Hill, this can be released to Townsend Folly, and then we'll grab, for Archon Hill, we'll grab like this Cosmite, and then probably like here, and then this water. This city will grab here, here. One, two, three, four. For yeah, plus this dwelling, so that'd be residential. Okay, got a plan. Incoming communication. Yes, personality trait, ruthless. Does everybody's personality trait just make them hate me more? Are there any that makes them like me? What's happening? Trespassing. Well, yeah. Aren't we at war? Like, of course they're trespassing. This player doesn't like you enough to accept a better diplomatic state. What? They hate me so much that they're not even willing to listen to my claims of peace. Holy crap. Production ready. Civil Engineering Guild, that's fine. And I mean, it looks like we're gonna get attacked over here. There's not a lot I can do. I think I'm just gonna lose this battle and I'll have to go and retake it. Um, but, you know, I have this army and I have another army coming once they clear out these marauders. They can't beat this city with what they have. I would venture if they even had another stack of six, they still couldn't win here. I think this would be this would be an easy defense. Um, I have well, it's a little bit of a weird army to be honest. So maybe maybe not quite so strong. Well, this guy doesn't have uh, mods. We'll mod him up if we need to. I don't want to waste my money and stuff if he's not being used actively. So in turn there. Okay, this was expected. Um, if I auto this, did I kill any of their units? Yeah, I killed three of their units and wounded a lot. Why are they all so equally wounded? Interesting. I think we'll just accept that. I just don't know how well I was going to do in manual combat having only half their power. No, you know what? We're going to do it because they're weak. They're weak in the water. They have overwhelming numbers and stuff, but I, I think I could do better. Okay.
Where are their... Where's their third? They didn't attack with... Oh, no, they combined them into a stack of five and a stack of six. Yes, okay. So I want to do something like... Maybe back up to here so that I fight them in two groups rather than one group. I am not going to attempt to preserve my real units over my militia. I'm going to do whatever I can to inflict as much damage as possible. Oops. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that bug is pretty creepy. Please get away. Stop. Stop coming closer. Providence for crits and adversity for fumbles, as well as a fairly weak attack. Okay. And this is the one that can jump. Jump to a hex. Oh, yeah. Those guys are in Overwatch. Weird. Okay. So we'll just go like here. Maybe back one. Because it, honestly, its job is to jump in. You know what? We're going to go back one even further because the range on this is 9. So these guys can get a little closer, and then he can jump in. I don't need him taking any shots. I want them to get closer to try to attack me. These are melee. So hopefully they actually do that. Come back here, and then I'll probably give you the crit so you can jump in and hopefully get a crit and hit a bunch of people at once. What do we have over here? We have... Arc Discharge, so I could try to stagger several of these units and delay their arrival at the battle. Which I could force this to hit these three units here that can be staggered and not that one. I wish there was like, is there like a button to alter who gets hit? No. Um, who do I want to stagger? It's kind of in the way of the other one. There we go. Status effect immunity. Relevant in any way here. It's good for me. Uh oh, they're scanning my galleons. That's bad. Precog is always really, really nice. Oh my so amazing. slot for my champion to jump into. Ow, that hurt. I think these galleons are like 50 health. They seem like big beasts of units, but they're really not. They're kind of lower tier naval vessels. I think I want to kill the faction leader. I think so. Okay, have some problems. Alright, sir. Okay, your job is to inflict maximum damage. Now that you're here, oh, you can stagger that one again. Yeah. Oh. Oh, first five damage. Ouch. That hurts. Yeah, let's go over here and bonk this guy. 
Bonk him. <laughs> this is a, like re reel back before it can bonk. That doesn't make any sense. Hit him. Bonk. Okay. Bonk this guy once. If we could go bonk this guy to death. What's my uh, cone shape? It's air, right? Does that mean I hit my own unit? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's not that much damage, but this one I could hit too. So let's see. As the oracle oh, foretold, cool. kind of, like, vomits up some electricity. Bonk this one. Oh, fumble! Oh, it missed. So, why are you so upset? Localized void rift. I feel like I can not see that happen. Oh, everybody's upset. Wait, why are we all upset? Localized Void Rift. They must have cast that on my territory before they attacked. Because that's not something that happened in combat. There's no... Interesting. Well, what can I do here? Friendly battle suit units. This isn't a battle suit. This is the only battle suit. Arc Manifold strikes a random unit for three for five turns. Let's do that. We'll put that into effect. We've got five turns of damage and stagger and electricity. Which everything is weak to that right now, because they're all embarked. The only thing that's not is probably this unit. Yeah. No no weaknesses, but everybody else should be weak to it because they are on boats. We're ready to enter and destroy here. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god, a crit. Uh, Overwatch. Unit lost. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> oh no! This they is going poorly. Shall be on it. What's that unit do? Nothing? We hit his own unit. They shall be honored. Goodness gracious, that guy is strong. Can't kill the hero. We go over here and smack this guy. I'm gonna lose this fight for sure after down. that horrible turn. So what I might need to do is run away and let this arc manifold hit more times before the battle ends. The other thing I could do is go like here and make this guy... if this bounces? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a lot stronger than I thought it was. Does this bounce? No. So that's why I assumed it didn't bounce. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Very strong. It's only a few damage. This unit's all over the place. What can I do to help me here? Five points left. Maybe just trying to stagger? I don't think this one's gonna be staggered, no, but this one can be. These three can be staggered. That. Staggering is really helpful. They can just do less. Move shorter distances. Fewer times. Uh oh. Fumbled. Oh no. Everybody's so upset. It's like a little group for me to jump into.
completely staggered out. Uh oh. I don't think I can reset you. There's an ability that does that, but I don't have it. I think it's an, in the arc damage channel to like reset a unit and give them action points, I think, but I don't seem to have it available. Um, this is an AoE. I'm gonna put a dot on him. I just don't know. Two shield. I wish this unit had some points. I don't know what what happened to him here. He got stunned by something. That's quite painful. Charge. What else I can do here? We'll do the dot one, just because I'm trying to kill off this unit. And then I just like literally just run away. Just like over here. And uh, let these units take lightning damage for a little bit. Unit Sorry, down. No. Paladin. It's our champion. It's the first time I got to use one of those. I gotta say, they do feel really strong and fun. A bit of an unfair fight for him here. Enemy annihilated. Oh, cool. Somebody died from their dots. I'll have one more turn of it happening, so I might, again, just run. How much more damage can I inflict with, uh, operations? The weaker they are, the easier it'll be for me to get in there and take the city back. I don't know that I can kill anything else off. I've got two more turns of this, so maybe we just see what happens. It's also, you know, costing me a lot of money here. I'm spending, like, under my energy. Let's see who this hits. That's sort of the worst one you can hit. Can you give this to yourself? For one turn. Yeah, so it has to be a friendly unit. So, <laughs> a little bit screwed here. Uh, let's just go over here. We've got one more lightning blast. We'll see if it hits somebody low. And maybe there's something we can do with it there. It's a faction leader. I mean, I could probably take him out. They're maybe in the past. Okay, I've got some dots going off right now. Is this a one? Oh, it's a single attack. Jump to two additional targets. Okay, so within two hexes. So if I get, I can't reach the faction leader, I think I'm going to be dead here. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Let's just double check that I can't kill this leader off here with something. <laughs> Put this back on and run away some more. I don't think I'll make it though. Yeah, I think, I think it's over. I think we'll just, uh, What's wrong with you? You're electrified. Go over here, we'll just hit this. See if they can kill me off, and if they can't, I might have a chance. It is all part of the Oracle's plan. Okay, I still only killed off three units when I did it, but yeah, in fact, I might have done worse. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I tried. But now they have to retreat, so. They got that going for me. I think when this is over, that'll be it for this episode. We're all out of time. Oh, we have something happening. Mirror seas. Coastal sectors produce double food, science, and energy. I have a lot of those. Water units gain fast movement, and two hexes increase range on their abilities, plus pick up spot. This would have been really helpful one turn ago when I had four naval vessels and they had one. Two extra hex range on stuff? I don't know if that would have affected my units, but dang. Fast movement would have been great. Oh, man. Oh, look how fast they're healing. Goodness. That's not good. I'm going to take this back. With what? These guys aren't really that strong. I'm going to wait till these guys get here. But, uh, yeah, we will do that on the next episode. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.